In this video, we are going to explore seven laws of power from Robert Greene's book, The 48 Laws of Power. This book offers raw truths about gaining and managing power. Some view it as a must read, others view it as the work of the devil. Regardless of your opinion, feeling powerless is no fun. So yeah, let's make sure it never happens again. But bear in mind that these rules do not necessarily align with the values of a true high value man. So consume the knowledge and understand the rules but be mindful of how you use them in real life and remember to maintain a strong moral compass. By the way, please do a brother a solid favor and leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks brother, I appreciate the love. Now let's get into it. Number one, avoid appearing flawless. Projecting superiority can be dangerous. It's impossible for anyone but a superhero or a deity to be perfect. Striving for perfection only adds unnecessary pressure and sets unattainable expectations. In fact, during job interviews, employers often ask about weaknesses to gauge a candidate's humility. To build authority, it's crucial to admit to small flaws, allowing colleagues to see success as attainable. Claiming all credit is not wise, as it can breed envy and hypocrisy among peers. Acknowledging weaknesses and attributing success to factors other than one's abilities is more effective in building genuine relationships. This approach leads to fewer enemies and more friends, the essence of power. Number two, safeguard your reputation. Your reputation is vital for your power and authority. It is possible to intimidate and win just based on your reputation alone. Consider a scenario where two basketball players compete against each other. One is a well-known legendary player and the other is a rising talent. Even if the legendary player performs poorly, people are likely to say that he played better than the new player. This is because the legendary player has an established reputation that surpasses that of the new player. Similarly, in your everyday life, building a positive reputation among your colleagues can elevate your status without much effort. However, it's crucial to protect your reputation from any potential threats, especially when you are just starting out. A single mistake could ruin your good name, so it's essential to establish yourself as a hard-working, organized, and dependable professional from the beginning. Even one misstep, such as showing up late or unprepared for an important meeting, can harm your reputation and diminish your authority. Number 3. Conceal Your True Intentions Revealing your true intentions can often work against you. People may not agree with your goals if they are not in line with their own goals. This can sometimes lead to a hostile confrontation. However, it is important to note that you cannot keep your true intentions hidden by isolating yourself from others. Instead, talk about your aspirations often, but be careful not to reveal your actual intentions. This is especially important when dealing with narrow-minded individuals who seek to undermine your goals. It will be difficult for your opponents to discern your true intentions if you appear to be friendly and trustworthy. As the author of this book suggests, camouflage your actions because people are only able to focus on one thing at a time. They are unlikely to realize that the person they are interacting with has an ulterior motive. Concealing your motives will allow you to gain people's trust and mislead them. By the time they realize what you are truly up to, it will be too late. People are less likely to suspect your intentions if you behave in an unobtrusive and predictable manner. Number 4. Making People Depend on You Although many people claim to dislike politics, politics is an integral part of all relationships, especially in the workplace. The traditional approach of aligning yourself with a strong boss to gain influence is flawed according to the author of the book, as a strong boss can easily replace you if you make a mistake. Instead, the book suggests aligning yourself with a weak boss and making them rely on you to the point that they cannot function without your help. This grants you the power you seek, as those who depend on you are under your control. It is also essential to ensure that subordinates do not acquire enough knowledge to prosper without you. By the way, if you want to ramp up your body's natural testosterone production to absolute max, you need to try out Testogen. Testogen is among the best, largest, and most trusted brands of testosterone boosters in the world. I've used it myself for a long time, and guess what? I approve. 
So if you want your natural tea levels to skyrocket, I'll leave a link in the description below. And yes, it's an affiliate link. So if you buy something, you also support this channel. So you get to boost your testosterone and support a hardworking YouTuber. Sounds like a win-win to me. But enough about that. Let's get on with the video. Number 5. Avoid making commitments. Stay independent and do not align yourself with any particular cause or side. This way, you can attract others to compete for your attention and set opposing parties against each other. Committing yourself to someone gives them power over you, and you lose control. If you remain distant and do not reveal your true feelings, you can gain power by having others focus on winning you over. Rather than demonstrating an inability to commit, you should attract people's attention by being unattainable. One way to achieve this is by avoiding unnecessary conflicts and instead observing others' quarrels from a distance. By doing so, you can gain influence and acquire power. The elite of the world use this tactic all the time by creating distractions and chaos to push their real agenda without anyone noticing. This is how they maintain control and achieve their goals. Number 6. Never beg for mercy or recognition. Asking for assistance is an art form that requires understanding the other person's wants and needs. Do not confuse your needs with theirs. Even the most powerful people have desires. Appealing to their sense of importance is key, because if you come across as weak or needy, they will view you as a waste of time. Begging for help or recognition will not get you anywhere, as people are preoccupied with their own issues. To get what you want, appeal to their sense of self-respect and fulfill their aspirations. If you can provide them with something they want, they will be more willing to do what you ask. Bringing up the past or trying to make them feel guilty will always backfire, so it's important to consider their personality and what motivates them. If they are not particularly charitable, appeal to their greed rather than their generosity. Number 7. Avoid unhappy and unlucky people. These individuals may not be intentionally bringing negativity into their lives, but their pessimistic attitude can be contagious and drag you down with them. The author of this book refers to these people as infectors. Therefore, it's best to sever all ties with them and surround yourself with positive and uplifting people who will inspire you to be your best self. Don't waste your time trying to help or argue with infectors as their problems are often deep-rooted and difficult to solve. Instead, seek out individuals who radiate positivity and encourage personal growth. By surrounding yourself with good company, you'll be more likely to adopt positive behaviors and lead a fulfilling life. That's all I have for you today, brother. I hope you've become wiser. If you want to do a brother a solid favor, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks, brother. I appreciate the love. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Now go, get off YouTube and go conquer something. Your manhood depends on it.